In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a graph in SPSS in such a way that you order the values or the, the visual elements of the graph in such a way that they're ordered according to a statistic that you're interested in. And what I'm going to show you specifically is with a bar chart because I find myself doing this quote unquote by hand and trying to sort out uh, the elements in the uh, graph and it takes time but I figured out a way how to do it uh, quickly. Uh, it does require some syntax though. So this example that I'm going to show you is based on the heights of people who play FIFA World Cup soccer and I've got a bunch of countries 32 uh, and I just want to create a bar chart of that and so uh, a way that you might do that would be in the graphs chart builder utility. And I'll just remind you that when you create when you use the graphs chart builder utility you really do have to make sure that your variables are scaled accord appropriately uh, in the measure column. So I've got team which is a categorical variable and that's nominal. Just make sure that you have that sorted and height and weight are scale variables. Uh, so just make sure you have that selected. And then graphs, chart builder, click OK. And I want to create a bar chart. So I'm going to push this bar chart into here. And it's height that I want to have uh, for each of the countries in the World Cup. Uh, and I push height into the y-axis because that's the dependent variable. And then I've got team, my nominal variable, and I put that in the x-axis. Now if I click OK and run this, it will produce a bar chart for me, uh, but it's not ordered according to the values in the bar, uh, associated with the bars. It's ordered according to uh, alphabet of the country. It's alphabetical order for the country. And SPSS even tells you that, that it's going to do that. So if you click on the team variable, you get uh, sort by value direction ascending, but that's really just the names of the countries. And you can do descending if you wanted to. And I'm not interested in that. I actually want to order the countries in the bar chart according to their values by going up or down. And the way to do that is to redo the analysis, click OK, put all the variables that you want uh, according to your wishes, and then click Paste. And what SPS will do is create a syntax uh, file for you uh, that you don't need entirely all this information. You just need, uh, and in particular, you can delete this part here and replace it with this piece of information here, sort statistic summary.mean. You need to add that to a portion of the syntax and I'm going to manipulate it even from there. So you got to find the scale category dim. Now because I have value labels I'm going to get rid of this uh, and I'm going to add sort statistic summary.mean var name. Now I've just got var name here as a generic uh, piece of information. I actually have to change it to this over here, the name of the variable that SPSS is used here, and it's mean height. And so I need to replace uh, var name with whatever you happen to have in your syntax here. So if you change the variable name, it's going to be something different than height. And so you need to make sure you put that as a substitute for var name. And I'm going to include that little piece of syntax in the uh, description of the video. So now when I run the syntax, it should produce a bar chart that has ordered from lowest to highest uh, for the data that I have. Now the only other way you can do that is literally by hand. Uh, graphs, OK. Uh, you could order it by re pushing things up and pushing it down, and that's what I used to do. But now that I've got uh, access to this uh, sort statistic uh, piece, uh, command, replace here, and bam, you get the ordered chart. It would take you, you know, a matter of seconds to do it rather than minutes. And we can actually see that this is based on real data. So we can actually see that this year in 2018, the Peruvians are the shortest team and the Serbians are the tallest team. And we have a bunch of other countries in the middle. Uh, but this a video isn't really about that specifically. It's really just to show you how to create an ordered bar chart according to the values in the statistic. And you could use other ones like median 
etc. rather than mean. In most cases, you might use the mean. Hope you enjoyed that video, and I'll catch you next time.